Hey, welcome to Real Estate 101. Today I'm with Holly Woods. She is a local lender. She is amazing. So we're gonna talk about different things. One of the things is the first steps to get into real estate. We're gonna talk about what do we do as real estate professionals, you know, if we're buying, we're selling, what, what are we doing, you know? So let's start with the three basic steps, how to get into the real estate. I've seen lately that there's a lot of people that they want to buy a house and they, they, they have a lot of questions, but they don't, they don't know where, where to start. And I'm, I'm sure you, you've seen it before. Oh yes, yeah. So, um, and as you know, a lot of home buyers will go to a real estate agent first, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and then the real estate agent normally will send you over to the lender. Um, so that way you can get pre-approved and know um, what type of loan program you're gonna be using and the details of that loan program. After, you know, she gets you pre-approved, she works out your numbers, she'll, she'll send the person to me and then we can start looking, you know, what's what's available, what's in the market. Pretty much we can, we can put it in three steps, right? Step right. No, number one, Getting pre-approved with your lender, um, and that way you know, you know what loan program and how much you can afford, what type of home you're looking for. We have, especially for first-time home buyers, we have uh, several loan programs, zero down and low down payment options. One being a USDA loan, which is 100% financing. We have VA for our, our veterans um, and military. Uh, which is 100% financing as well, so no down payment. We have a uh, conventional as low as 3% down, and we also have FHA that's 100% now as well. So no down payment with FHA. Oh man, mm -hmm. so yeah, pretty much three steps, you know. Step number one, go with Holy. Step number two, come with me, we'll find the right house. And step number three, eventually, you know, get under contract, get the house and, um, but hey, I know you have great programs, great options. You mentioned one that I really like it, and um, I'm excited. You want you want to tell us what what's what it's about? So I am part of the Homes for Heroes program. I love working with people in our community and especially our heroes. And so we give a lender credit back to basically anybody that has been military, uh, VA, correctionals, firefighters, police officers, teachers, anybody that has really been a service and given so much to our surrounding community. It goes to credit towards their closing costs on the loan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what about if I'm I'm not, I'm not a teacher or I'm not in the medical field and this is this is my first time mm -hmm. buying a house? Do you have programs for that? Yes, we okay. have several first-time home buyer programs. Nice. A few of them I mentioned about you know USDA. We have conventional. That's a first-time home buyer, but several you know zero percent down um, options. The FHA, the USDA, the VA, and then we have conventional for first-time home buyers. But you you have to actually be a first-time home buyer to qualify for it, and it's a, a low three percent down. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. I. I remember, by the way, she helped me with my first house, mm -hmm. and I was I was so nervous. Do you do you remember that time or not? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, so she so, okay. By the way, so she she gave me the pre approval letter, right? And then um, she's like, okay, you want me to send the pre approval letter to to um, your realtor? It was Maggie, and I'm like, what? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I was so so nervous. I couldn't even make yeah. the decision. So I had to call my dad, uh, my wife, uh, all all these people. And so, well, I'm, I'm saying this, you know, because it, it was great to work with Holly. Uh, she she helped me out. I, I love the fact that if I had a question, I will call her and she will answer. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you this right now. This is reality, okay? There is a lot of lenders, they don't answer the phone, right? Right. And so it's important to find a team that is going to take you from the very start to finish um, and help you to understand each part of the process, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. I, I work with Maggie and Maggie and Holly, they, they work as a team to help me out, you know, to get into my first house. They work together and they work great. Mm -hmm. what's, what's my point with this? If you're trying to get to, into a first house, second home, doesn't matter. Find someone that you trust and that way they can lead you. Make sure they answer the phone and emails mm -hmm. and, and, and they help you with that, you know? Communication yeah. is very important. The most rewarding part of the process is really being able to take that bar from start to finish. And when they get done and they tell you, wow, that wasn't as bad as it, <laughs> you know, as everybody talks about. They, they you don't, know, see, they don't see the back end. Yeah, yeah. That to me is... 
<laughs> that's the best part. But yeah, that's that's something that you have to look for, you know? You have to look for a great lender, a great realtor that you trust and you feel comfortable to work with. Mm -hmm. By the way, if you work with us, it's gonna be great, you know? Uh, we have a couple transactions. What's, what's your, let me ask you this, what's your experience working with, with me? I love working with you. Good. Yeah, and like I said, communication is really key. You're great at communicating and you're always on top of it. Um, so I know if I if I call you, you pick up the phone <laughs> and vice versa. And yeah. I think, you know, a lot of home buyers, they don't realize how much the realtor and the lender actually work together behind the scenes, right? So it's important for us to have that um, good communication and relationship to um, be able to help the, the home buyer to the to the finish line, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Our last our last topic. I would like to ask you, what are you doing uh, as a lender? And that's that's something that I I've, I've been wondering. You know, like, hey, what what the lenders are doing right now? Are they are they investing? Are they selling? Are they buying? What are they doing? So, um, would let well, would you like to share something? <laughs> Personally, I've been looking a little bit. I actually had put in an offer on a home and. In this type of environment where there's a lot of demand and not a lot of inventory, mm -hmm. we're running into a lot of those multiple offer type of situations and that was my situation. I, I didn't get the home, but I'm still, you know, looking for, for the perfect next investment, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, real estate is really a great way to grow your wealth. So what's your experience? <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually ready to refinance my house. Mm -hmm. Hopefully I'm ready. I don't know, I'll, I'll find out from you. But yeah, I'm ready to refinance my house and uh, go for the next one, you know? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna take that equity from, from that house because it, I've gained a lot of equity. By the way, this year has been crazy, huh? Good crazy. Yeah. It has been crazy. Yeah, so <laughs> what I wanna do is uh, get that equity, put it, on, put it as a down payment on my, on my second house. I don't wanna put anything from my pocket and just keep going, keep right. going. Right, well, and by buying those investment properties, right, those rental properties down the road, they're paid for and you have tenants in them that are making those payments and mm -hmm. it's it's really kind of a, a long-term goal, right? Because you're gonna be making that money consistently every month and that's just another way for you to grow your wealth, especially for retirement down the road, right? Yeah. Yeah. Last question, and I, I, this is something that I get a lot from people. Like, hey, they say, hey, I wanna buy a lot, empty land, and I would have put a house there. When I was looking for houses, I asked you the same thing. Mm -hmm. uh, and at the time, I didn't understand very well because it was my first time, but um, it, what do you think about those those kind of loans? Can you can you kind of explain what's going so on? We, um, we actually have a really great one-time close construction loan. Basically, we get the sales agreement from the property, um, we get the bid for the home, right? And we combine those two costs into one. Um, and then we finance the loan just like any other home, right? Okay. And we have a, an appraisal done that um, appraises the value of what that home is going to be once it's completed on the land. And then we go through the, the you know, 45, 60 day closing process. Now, once the loan closes, that's when construction starts. So that builder mm. will ha receive draws throughout the next, uh, well, they have up to 12 months in order to complete, and they re will receive five draws during those 12 months. And once the home's complete, then you have your, your new construction home okay. on the property that you picked out. So instead of, instead of uh, waiting to, to find the right lot and then waiting mm -hmm. to, to buy the manufacturer house or whatever, mm -hmm. um, you guys can do both things at the same time. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But the nice thing is, is it's a one-time close. So you close that um, construction loan up front, right? Okay. Um, and then after that, the construction starts and the draw process until the, the home is complete. Our one-time close construction loan conventional option is as low as 5% down. So you do have to put a little bit down for that type of option, right? Mm -hmm. Now, for an existing home that's already on the property, manufactured or site built, then you, you're looking at you, depending on whether you qualify or if you're a first time home buyer, we have the zero to low down payments. Thank you, Holy, and thank you for thank OMG you. Burgers for, for helping us. I mean, this, this is a great place, by the way. I know, it turned out beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you for this time, and um, see you guys in the next one. Bye.